about the people. You know one thing, God? I, I said, Lord, what are you saying? He said, use Sister Phyllis as an example. <laughs> when Sister Phyllis began to step out and do the will of the Lord with her own ministry, glory to God, next living ministry, glory to God, she had to forget about the people. <laughs> Oh, and how they felt and how they said, oh, oh she don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but now when they look at it now, <laughs> they look at it in the sense of knowing. <laughs> oh, she must know what she's doing now. <laughs> look at all the souls she drawing in. <laughs> look at the kind of magnitude of the word that's going out. <laughs> you ought to tell your neighbor. <laughs> the last result is not wrapped up in the people. <laughs> Last result is wrapped up in God. Oh, you want to tell somebody? I don't know about you, but I'm forgetting about people. Oh, I'm gonna tell you when I'm ready here. Oh, you want to tell somebody? Tell them, say, come and may hell or high water. I'm determined to block people out. I'm not gonna allow them to get in my spirit. God. We look at the church saints now and just like Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul had to forget about his condition of how he talked. He had a problem with his speech and the people would tease. They would say, oh, I can't understand what he's saying. And it's just like some of us here that if we ever had a problem with our talking. We could not pronounce the words like you could. Oh, you better talk to me here. And you go up to tell somebody something. And you go on to say and da, 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 da. And they start laughing at you. But when the anointing come on the inside of you and begin to work itself on the outside, the folk will begin to see the anointing instead of your flesh. And Apostle Paul had to go through that. And the Lord told Apostle Paul, he said, listen, Paul, I'm going to use you to be one of the greatest evangelists of this time. I come to tell somebody, you're going to go through things in your life that the enemy said you wasn't coming out of. You're going to go through stuff in your life that the enemy said you were not going to make it out of. But I dare to high five your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm on my way out, baby. With your approval or not, I'm on my way out of it. Would you say so or not? Oh, my God. I begin to look at this thing closely. And I read in the word here. He said he told Job. He said, Job, listen. I'm going to allow the enemy to touch you. But the enemy is not going to touch your soul. He's going to touch everything around you. But if you forget about the people, when you get to chapter 42 of Job, you will find out that I reverse everything. And I'll give you double. Job said it like this. All the days of my appointed time, will I wait till my change come? You ought to tell your neighbor. I know it's hard right now. I know it seems like you're about to give up. But tell your neighbor, hang on in there. Tell somebody, hang on. God is stepping on the scene. Now, did you realize what he did to the disciples? They was on the ship. And the sea began to rage. And God, Jesus, began to fall asleep. And the disciple rose up. 